climate change. Let me tell you something. The only climate that's really changing is your climate because everything else was prophesied by Christ Jesus. Check it out below. Your climate is the one that's changing. And if you ain't aware and can't be a part of it, it's like no matter how unstable their platform appears to you, that three-axis gimbal, that that cam their their eyes are mounted to is observing you every move you make and it ain't, it ain't missing a beat okay so no matter how unstable their system looks they're capturing everything you do with complete utter stability there is no missing anything there's no wiggle and wobble to it they got it all they're watching you so now it's time for you to do something that that's beneficial to your community beneficial to your organization beneficial to life you see Climate change is a good thing for those who understand and take the opportunity to step up. It's a good thing. You know, it's okay to be a player in the system as long as you're a positive player. You understand what I'm saying? You see, here in the future, if the only people that is qualified to pay taxes are the wealthy, what that really means is that the other class of, of people are either are not employed or not employable or making a lot less than they should in order to survive. So do you think that you're going to be able to live off of uh, the taxes from the wealthy? The answer is no. So in this new world order, the uh, consequences of climate change will be done away with your ability to live and have money and income and all of that kind of stuff that's being provided to you when in fact is that you could get up off of yourself and do something to earn your way. The objective here is, is to understand what part of this climate that is changing for you. Also, added to that objective is where you fit, the changes that you need to make, the upgrades that you need to make so that you can be an asset to the climate. That's what we need to talk about. That's what we need to think about. And that's what we better jump on like yesterday because it's happening. So you're part of the new change in world climate and conditions will be new definitions. And one of the terms or words that will be used uh, that will have a new definition is called human waste. Now, many of you look at that word or that, that sentence or that classification and you say human waste. Well, let me give you the new world climate definition of human waste. That is humans that have no purpose, that have no, uh, that have no real value. Humans that have no real value to their climate, their country, their state, their city, their community. They have no value. They're not an asset. 
human waste is those who are not an asset, have no value, no purpose. They're a liability. That's the new definition of human waste. See, I told you that Christ Jesus already, over 2,000 years ago, he prophesied about climate change, okay? He didn't just stop at hunger, starvation, you know, sicknesses and things like that. He went further and actually explained all about this weather, all about these earthquakes, all about these strange phenomena that are happening. But see, the thing is, is they don't want you to look in the Bible to, to find that information and decipher it and apply it to today. They want to be the ones to tell you what's going on and what's happening and give it a point of origin, which is not associated with Christ Jesus, nor prophecy. See, those are things that you're being led like sheep to the slaughter. You can die out in your current condition, all scared, frustrated, don't know what to do, too young to retire, too old to get into anything else you think. Or you can step up and add to your worth in the society in which you live. That's called change to your climate. That's called climate change. That's adapting.